Hi, my name is Jason Perkins. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of my Georgia Workers' Compensation video series. I'm an attorney that specializes in Georgia Workers' Compensation Law. I created this video series to provide injured workers with helpful information about the rules of Georgia's Workers' Compensation Law and the benefits available to them under it. Today, I want to talk to you about a basic question, which is, what is workers' compensation? Generally, workers' compensation is a benefit system set up to provide benefits to injured workers and to employers. Um, workers' compensation replaces the traditional way of recovering for injuries that happen to you. Um, in most situations, if you suffered an injury as a result of someone else's negligence, you might file a personal injury case, or what's known as a tort case. Um, and you would uh, file suit, um, and you might go to court in front of a judge and jury, and ultimately, if you proved your case, you could recover certain benefits for your lost wages, your medical benefits, your pain and suffering, those sorts of things. Um, so what's different about workers' compensation? Workers' compensation, in most cases, is a system created by an individual state, um, and pretty much every state has a workers' compensation system. There's also some other governments that have workers' compensation systems. For example, there's a federal workers' compensation system for employees of the federal government. Um, so, again, it's a benefit system that's created by the state, and this system set up to provide certain benefits to people who are injured at work. And the basic idea is that it provides those benefits, hopefully in a quicker manner than a court system typically would do. For example, um, if you filed a lawsuit, sometimes it can take you years to get to court and get a decision from a judge in a regular personal injury case. Workers' compensation systems are generally set up to work work much quicker than that so that you get your benefits more quickly. Um, now, workers' compensation systems are also generally set up so that you don't have to prove fault. Um, that usually means that you don't have to prove that it was the other person's fault that you got hurt. The injury could be someone else's fault, it could be nobody's fault, or in most cases it could even be your fault and you could not be being careful enough. As long as you were doing your job when you got hurt, generally you're covered. Um, that's often referred to is that you had an injury arising out of and in the course of your employment. Now, as I mentioned, each state has different workers' compensation laws. Um, I'm an attorney that practices in Georgia, so I'm very familiar with the laws of Georgia, but each state's, while similar, are different, so it's important if you're in another state to look at the rules of that particular state. Um, the benefit that's generally provided to employers in workers' compensation laws is what's called the exclusive remedy doctrine. And what that often means is when you receive, when you get hurt at work, you have the right to receive workers' compensation, but generally you cannot file a personal injury claim against your employer for that same injury. You end up getting workers' compensation instead. What that usually means in Georgia is that you receive limited benefits because Georgia workers' compensation law does not cover every damage that you may suffer as a result of your work injury. It covers three basic things for the most part. Um, that is your medical benefits, that you, medical treatment you need as a result of your injury. It covers a percentage of your lost wages, and then it covers something called permanent partial disability benefits. The main benefit that most people are familiar with that workers' compensation doesn't cover is pain and suffering or loss of enjoyment of life. Um, so under Georgia workers' compensation law, you do not receive money for what you go through or for the fact that you may be able, not be able to do certain things anymore, that you may continue to have pain in the future. Um, so that's the main thing that workers' compensation doesn't cover. I um, hope you found this information about what workers' compensation is helpful. If you have, please let me know that by liking this video or giving it a thumbs up. Um, and if you'd like more information about workers' compensation, some of the specific topics under Georgia workers' compensation law, I'd encourage you to visit our Perkins Stutter Workers' Compensation YouTube channel. All the videos from the Georgia Workers' Compensation video series are available there. There's over 100 of them, so you can view them there, and you can also subscribe to that channel if you'd like to be notified of future videos as they come out. If you do have some specific questions about your workers' compensation case, I find that a free consultation with a workers' compensation attorney is normally the best way to get those questions answered. If you'd like to set up a free consultation with me, I'd be happy to do so. And There's two easy ways that you can set that up. The first is by calling the phone number at the bottom of the screen. Or the second is by visiting our website, which is www.perkinslawtalk.com. There's a free consultation request form available there. If you complete it and submit it, we'll be happy to contact you and get one set up. I'd like to thank you again for watching today. 
and we'll wish you the best of luck as you recover from your injury.